What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. So today we're going to talk about and uh, show you how voiceover is used with voice control, how you can use both of them in conjunction. Uh, it's still beta, so it's not exactly bug free, but it, it's pretty, pretty decent. Um, there's a little bit of echo feedback problems, so when voiceover says something, it'll think that it's somebody saying it. It doesn't know how to ignore voiceover's voice, but, you know, I'll show you all that now. Uh, shout out to Octavio Fernandez for um, suggesting this. What a great idea. Um, let's get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn voiceover on. And voice then we're going to turn messages. voice control on. Double tap to open. Use three alert. Voice control. So, um, extras folder. Fifteen apps. The first thing I'm going to go do. Use three D touch. We're in beta two now, so some stuff could be possibly um, fixed in beta two. There's a lot of stuff that was fixed with voiceover, so perhaps the same goes for uh, um, voice control. So let's get started. Messages. Open Double settings. Tap to open. Use three D touch to show home screen actions. Open settings. Open settings. Open settings. Open settings. Right, settings. Open settings. Search. Open settings. Search. Search. Field. Search field. Tap accessibility. Double tap to edit. Tap accessibility. Tap accessibility. Tap accessibility. Settings. 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 Button. Settings. Settings. Back button. Back button. Scroll down. Suggested commands. Suggested commands. Bullet open settings. Bullet, settings. Bullet, taps. Bullet taps. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Row seven to, Row 7 to 21 of 21. Okay, perfect. So that that's part that part's working. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Message. Message. Go. There you go. Home. Home. Open app switcher. Open app switcher. Open app switcher. App switcher. App switcher. Open, Open settings. settings. Active. Swipe up with three, Swipe fingers, up with three, fingers, three fingers to close the app. Actions available. Actions available. Swipe up. Swipe up. Swipe up. Close settings. Close settings. Swipe up. Try. Try. Swipe, up Swipe up settings. Oh. Swipe up settings. 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 Activate. Default. Default. Swipe up settings. Close settings. Close settings. Hmm. So that's a new bug. That was working before. That's interesting. Swipe up. Okay. Go home. Try. Try. Go home. Go home. Huh. It got stuck in a loop. Okay. Interesting. There you go. Messages. Messages. Hmm. So. Suggested, suggested commands. It does get stuck. Uh, in the app searcher, which is kind of interesting. Tap Safari. Tap Safari. Tap Safari. 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 Web Button. Page Web page loaded. Very sharp. Try. Try. Open Safari. Open Safari. Okay, so we're gonna go. Uh, tap URL. Hmm. Show numbers. Show numbers. Show numbers. Say number, Say number to press. Show numbers. Say number to, Say number to press. press. One. Options. Format options. Two. Two. Address. Reload. Three. Reload. Four. He visited this page on five slash three slash nineteen. Five. Six. Missing. Six. Six. Crashing. Tap Seven. three. Vertical line must include eight. eight. Crashing. Link. Tap three. Show numbers. Show numbers. Show numbers. Say number to, Tap number three. to press. Four. One. Options. Format three. options. Two. Address. Three. Hmm. So show numbers doesn't work well with voiceover. Uh. Go home. Go home. Go home. Message. Message. Go. Okay. Home. Home. Suggested, Suggested commands. Go home. Bullet. Go home. Bullet. Open. Home. Bullet open home. Okay. So let's see what else we can do. Um. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Weather. Weather. Uh. Swipe right. Weather. Swipe right. Weather. Photos. Photos. Double tap. Okay. To Double tap to open. Try. Try. Swipe, right. Swipe right. Weather. Suggested commands. Suggested commands. Swipe right. Bullet. Swipe right. So it, it's it can interact better with voiceover. Um. Let's try. Uh. Hmm. Swipe left. Swipe left. Swipe left. Weather. Weather. Dump try. Dump try. Swipe left. Swipe left. Hmm. So the some of the interaction like it, it used to ignore the voiceover interaction gestures. So it looks like uh, swiping pages is is hard to do by voice. Um, go to next page. Next page. Suggested commands. Suggested commands. Swipe left. Bullet swipe left. Bullet scroll down. Bullet scroll down. Hmm. So I guess that part has to be page done. Three, page three of four. Page four of four. Reminders. Annoying reminders. Double tap to open. Use 3D touch, Use 3D touch to show home screen actions. What I want to see um, is uh, 
how we can interact with it. So let's see. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Go home. Open Messages. weather. Double tap to open. Double tap to open. Use 3D, Use 3D touch, touch to show home screen. Open weather. 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 Okay, so it got stuck in a loop. Open weather. That's a common thing uh, for the for the beta. I mean, this is great. I feel like it in in the upcoming betas they're gonna make it better. Like there's a lot of stuff that's been cleaned out for sure. So let's see what we can do. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Page two of two. Page two of two. Scroll down. Okay. That's cool. Scroll down. 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 Got stuck in the loop. So this this is pretty good. I mean, it's it, I feel like um, over time it's gonna be so good that you know if you ha if you if you are unable to touch the screen of your phone and you're you know blind visually impaired, you could use voiceover. I mean, it's gonna get better. I'm def I've definitely submitted a lot of bugs already. Go home. Go home. Messages. Messages. Hmm. Go home. Go home. Swipe down. Home. Home. Suggested commands. Suggested commands. Bullet, open Bullet open messages. Swipe down. Hmm. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Okay. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Clock. Clock. Nine fifty. Okay. Scroll down. Stop. Stop getting in the loop. Okay. There we go. Um, open App Store. Open App Store. Open App Store. Hmm. So now open App Store. App Store. App Store. Open App Store. Open app store. Today. Today. Heading. heading. Open App Store. Open App Store. So it, it it gets stuck in this weird loop because voice control hears voiceover and it doesn't know how to differentiate. Like my voice to uh, compared to the you know the the voiceover voice. Open app store. So it gets stuck on this weird loop, and you have to like double tap with two fingers to like make it be quiet. Uh, voiceover, uh, you know, it's stable, but when you use it with voice control, there's some issues. Um, iOS 12 is on public beta now. I mean, iOS 13 is on public beta now. So if you want to grab it, it's decently stable. I wouldn't. I mean, if you if you have a spare device, best to do that. But if you're willing to take in um, the challenge of, uh, you know, having a secondary to a computer or something to do something if an app crashes or something, you know, keep that in mind. But, you know, it's on public beta right now. And uh, I have another video after this one that I'm going to be talking about feedback and like how voiceover has been acting in beta 2. There's some differences now that I have it on my main device that I want to share in another video. Um, so let, let's navigate a little more with um, voice control just so you guys can see a little more of the interaction. I'm going to try the number thing again to see if that works. Show numbers. Show numbers. Show numbers. Show numbers. Say number to, say number to press. One. One. My account. Two. two. How, to. How to. Show numbers. Say number to press. press. One. My account. Two. How, two. How to. Broadway Find your Broadway tribe. tribe. Meet fellow fans on. Three. Now trending. Now trending. Top, Top games this week. week. Today. Four. Five. Today. Five. Five. Games. games. Apps. Six. Apps. Seven. 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 Arcade. Three. 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 Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna say scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Page to abate. Okay. Tap three. Okay, whatever. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe right. Game of the day. Of the day. Button. Button. Tap that. Try. Try. Swipe right. Game of the day. Swipe right. Game of the day. Huh. Interesting. No. Okay. Um. Tap game of the day. 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 Game of the day. Button. Button. Tap game of the day. Scroll down. Scroll down. Huh. 
There's nothing to scroll, that's why. Okay. Go home. Scroll down. Scroll down. Page two of six. Page two of six. Scroll, scroll down. Page three of six. Page three of six. Sharp. Sharp. Briefcase. Briefcase. Computer monitor. Computer monitor. Figurine. Figurine. Television. Television. Oh, I can't wait. So this is the so OCR is so good. Will you guys heard that sharp container figurine? That's the picture that I just showed um, that you can see in, 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 on my phone screen. That's cool. I like that. iOS 12 OCR and image recognition is awesome. Thank you for adding that to with VoiceOver now on iOS 13. Super handy. Um, super cool. Okay. Go home. Go home. Go home. Messages. Messages. Go home. Open app switcher. Try. Try. Go home. Open app switcher. Open app switcher. Open app switcher. App switcher. App switcher. App store. App store. App store. Open app switcher. Open app switcher. Swipe up. Swipe up. Close app store. Close app store. Oh, close app store. Try. Try. Swipe up app store. Swipe up app store. Hmm. Swipe up app store. Swipe up. Swipe up app store. Swipe up app store. Activate. Activate. Swipe, up. Swipe up. Close app store. Okay. Close app store. Close app store. Swipe up on app store. So it worked in beta one. Um, try. Try. Swipe up, Swipe up app store. So this app switcher it worked on beta one. It doesn't work on beta two because it's more interact. It's got more interaction with voiceover. So it does work through the voiceover cursor. Um, kind of interesting, honestly. I don't know how Apple's gonna deal with um, the uh, gestures with the uh, with this thing. It's kind of interesting. Go home. Go home. It, it locks up like voice control completely locks up with Activate. when Activate. you go home. default. It, which is kind of interesting. Messages. Messages. Double tap to Double open. Tap to Use three D touch, touch to show home screen. Hmm. Open control center. Swipe on top right. Hmm. Okay. Open control, Open control center. Control center. Control center. There we center. Go. Airplane mode. Switch, Switch button. button. Off. So. Use 3D touch, use 3D touch to show more controls. controls. Double. T hmm. Show numbers. Show numbers. Show numbers. Huh. Not exactly accessible. That's uh that's a shame. Show numbers. Show numbers. Say number to press. One button. Show numbers. Say number to press. One button. Show numbers. Say number to press. Show numbers. Hmm. Okay. Well, it, it, the show numbers goes and then show it goes. Show numbers. Away. Say number to press. Twenty one. One button. Airplane Two mode. airplane mode. Three, Three. Uh. cellular data. Four. Show numbers. Right, whatever. I'm not. I'm not gonna mess with this anymore. Um, five. Five. Roots available. Roots available. Six, six, six. Seven. Bluetooth. Eight. Nine. Eight, nine, nine ten, play. Ten. Show numbers. Show numbers. Say number to press. Button, button, one. Two, button. Airplane two. Mode. Airplane mode. Three. Yeah. Yeah. The show numbers. Even. Even messes with the voiceover gestures. So, I wouldn't recommend. For app switcher. Um, app store. Active. Using the messages. messages. I wouldn't recommend using the the app like the uh, numbers the show numbers in beta 2 perhaps show numbers, uh, and, show numbers. Uh, 1 perhaps in other betas it'll get better um i don't know why it's doing this it's beta i'm going to submit that bug if you guys are running iOS 13 you know and tried it out also submit bugs if you're on the public beta you know um that's cool uh comment down below how it's been for you in iOS 13 if you're running it um you know for for, for reasons of YouTube policies, I can't post a link where you can find it. But, you know, um, there's plenty of other, like, there's plenty of articles online that tell you where to go get it. But you can usually go and get it at, um, like, if you search about, like, uh, the, the normal way through Apple, Apple Public Beta, and sign up through there. But uh, there's also people distributing the betas, the profiles, but, um, you know, you can search around the web and find them. It, you know, public beta is usually your best route. Um, they usually have all the updates. Currently, you have beta two, which is pretty stable. Um, a lot, a lot of apps are crashing, but you know, as you see, 
there's there's certain things that still need a lot of cleaning up. We, I think we have like five betas to go. Usually it's like seven betas for um, major OS updates, so that's going to be cool. We're going to see a lot of interesting changes um, and interesting feature features up here. Uh, randomly, you know, with voiceover, Two I saw. Messages. Three weather, four photos. Okay, with voiceover, I saw some uh, haptic feedback changes and some really cool stuff happening on the betas. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, subscribe, and um, thank you for suggesting the idea for using voice control and voiceover together. I appreciate it. It's a great, great idea. Um, I'm gonna. If I see that there's another uh, more differences, I will try this out in each beta and see if it works. Because I have been using it, like behind the scenes, I've been working on it and see how it interacts. Um, but so far, the interaction it, it's getting better in a lot of areas. But in a lot of areas, it's like it still needs improvement. Like show numbers, show numbers was working in last beta, beta one, beta two. It's not working with show numbers. Probably work again with beta 3 because uh, I'm going to submit it and hopefully everybody, you know, testing out this betas are going to submit it as well. So that way we can go ahead and polish up the update. If you're running a public beta, you know, submit the, the bug as well so that way we can all, you know, keep Apple up to date on what the bugs are. That's why we're here for, you know, to make the OS better for uh, when it's officially launched in uh, fall. I think it's August, September, usually when it gets launched. So, all right. See you in the next video. Goodbye. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.